All right. Uh, this video is going to be about how to get um, the shocking step or frost step and what you need to to actually uh, start the mission in order to get them. So first you need to kill these little crab babies that follow this giant um, orb mutter or orb mutter or her. So you kill these dudes. Super easy. I have weak guns right now. I don't have my best guns on me. Alright, they drop these little uh, canisters, these little, um, whatever you want to call them. You take these and you find the nearest Thermia, um, I'll show you what they look like. Ah, they look like that. So what you do is you go up to them, well, let's not, let's not deploy one there next to her. There we go, okay, so here's perfect, here's perfect. So boom, you go here, you get near, and you press X. Okay, you guard it with your life until it reaches 100. On the top left, you can see. Uh, I guess they added canisters added, so you can add more, which is awesome, because usually you just put one and you have to get to the next one, but I think they added to, they added where you can just add an additional three more which is amazing um, and then right after you're done and you accumulate a lot of you know thermia and shit you go to the waypoint you go to where I marked okay right here on the right hand side this spot here exactly that spot you go left or right doesn't matter and there's gonna be a little cave an entrance to where you need to be it's gonna look something like this you know open field you go in here, okay? You go in here. Alright, you go in down here. You're looking at all this beautiful decoration. Don't worry about that. This will open. Now, if that doesn't open, then you need to unlock the codes. And you need to do your shit. You gotta do your, your homework. Which is do your missions and stuff. That's what I did. I didn't do any research. I just did the missions. And then this will load. It'll open. And then, when you have enough thermia, you can keep going, keep going, until you reach this little platform here. Jump, bam, and then you're activated. You press X, if you have enough thermia, you fight the boss, it comes down. It'll lead you outside to fight her one last time, shit like that. And then there's a chance that it might drop for you, there's a chance that it might not. Now there's a 50-50 with the shock and frost. Oh. Fuck, man, she needs to shut the hell up. Melt exploiters, defenses, volatile. Finish what we... Alright, cool. Alright, so, like I was saying, um, you, there's a 50-50, um, first, it's a low drop chance of either of them dropping, right? And then there's a 50-50 of you getting either the shocking step or the frost uh, step because he drops both of them but only one drops y you know so yeah that's how that's how you get them only during the event of gathering up thermia not because if you if you have thermia already good for you but if you don't then you're gonna have to wait probably a month or a couple weeks for the event to come back so I mean that's what I saw so I hope this video helped you um, answer any of your thermia shocking step frost step questions